The African Royals expansion has arrived for Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. Let's take a look at the two new civilizations, the Ethiopians and the Hausa, in more detail. Placed on the roof of Africa, Ethiopia was able to assert its influence over the surrounding lowlands and thrive as a continuous empire longer than most. It was one of the few African nations to stay independent by the end of the 19th century. The Ethiopian rock churches and remote mountain monasteries provide an ancient time capsule of culture, over a thousand years old. The mountain monastery is a unique Ethiopian church that if constructed on a coin mine, will enable villagers to generate influence whilst gathering coin. It can also train the Abun, a priest able to heal active units from range and can also collect influence from the mountain monastery. The Gesenya is a nimble heavy infantry that throws spears. As the Gesenya moves in on their target, the rate at which they are able to launch their spears increases, and in melee combat, their spear makes them very effective at countering cavalry. Shottle warriors are fast moving shock infantry that can easily navigate the battlefield. Expertly wielding two curved swords, their rapid attacks make them particularly effective at engaging the enemy front lines and dispatching infantry. The Neftenia is an expensive but bulky skirmisher that performs well against infantry and ranged cavalry. Their increased health grants them higher survivability on the battlefield, requiring less protection than regular skirmishers. The Sebastopol Mortar is a slow and costly artillery that annihilates units and buildings. It has two firing modes, Solid Shot, which has higher damage but a smaller area of effect, and Explosive Shot, which bursts on impact creating a large area of effect, but with lower damage. The wealthy Hausa kingdoms were magnets for merchants, intellectuals, and enemies. Through extensive trade relations and diplomacy, they were able to exert influence over vast stretches of West Africa. Building their kingdoms led to massive population growth, prosperous trans-Saharan trade, and a community of scholars collecting and expanding the knowledge of the realm. But riches invite rivals, Fierce conflicts with neighbouring states shaped the Hausa kingdoms, all vying for influence in the region of modern-day Nigeria and beyond. The Hausa have access to the university, a unique building that trickles influence and can research unlock technologies from your alliances. The university's sphere of influence aura increases the influence trickle when near a town centre, trading post or palace. This makes the Hausa expert kingdom builders who must spread their dominion far and wide to unlock their full potential. The university can also train the Griot, a wise bard equipped with many instruments that inspire nearby allies and intimidate enemies. The Griot can also be tasked to buildings, improving their construction speed and work rates. The Maigadi is a slow-moving but intimidating bodyguard. Trained exclusively at the palace at the cost of influence, the Maigadi is an extraordinary powerful ranged infantry without a specific counter. Sworn to protect, the Maigadi's melee attack is particularly fierce. Beware a direct engagement. The Fulani Archer is a foot archer armed with a short bow, which can be rapidly drawn and fired, effective against heavy infantry. The Fulani Archer can collect food from cattle, and with the Fulani Alliance can even gain access to wood gathering and a long-ranged attack toggle. Used correctly, they will grant an economic edge and be a multi-purpose fighting force. The Raider is a fast, inexpensive cavalry unit, costing exclusively food. Their bonus damage against economic buildings and treasure guardians makes them ideal for aggressive raiding and treasure looting. However, they will be stopped in their tracks by heavy infantry and are very ineffective against walls and military buildings. Equipped with regal quilted armor, the Lefiti Knight is a heavy cavalry, boasting high health and resistance to both ranged and melee attacks. Whilst ideal for absorbing enemy fire, this comes at the cost of damage output and movement speed. Overall, the Lefiti Knight is a formidable frontline warrior. We are always thrilled to continue building upon the legacy of Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. The new African Royals expansion is available now, and both the Ethiopians and Hausa will bring a new and unique experience for you to develop and enjoy. And don't forget to customize your new home cities.